Hi all, we are going to talk about congruent figures, which are figures that have the same shape. And they not only have the same shape, they have the same exact size, right? Which means that these figures are, are not actually true representations of what they are, because they're supposed to be exactly the same size, but they're not always going to be drawn that way, right? So it's saying the figures are congruent. What is GH? Okay, so one thing to do to orient yourself is to sort of match up the angles in the right order, right? So you could be like, okay, the only angle that's not here is 43, so I'll put 43 here. And then I can say, okay, I'll make this one, two, three, four. So I'll make this one, two, three, four. And it's asking for GH which is going to be this. So before I X'd it out, you could see that that was 68. Well, just you'll see, right? So this is 68. So all that work is to figure out which side we're trying to connect to here. So I'm going to go with 68. Okay, so the figures are congruent. Again, let's line them up. So the 111 here is the only thing that's not showing up here. And we've got sides, right? So how can we match this up? Well, you can see that this is one. We'll make this one. We'll go here, three, four. So we'll go here, two, three, four. And we're looking for EF, right? So what's EF? EF is this, which is the same thing as the thing between 1 and 4, so it should be 83 millimeters. Okay, so I think you guys are getting the pattern. We're basically trying to match up the figures and then use one to figure out something about the other. The figures are congruent, okay, so again, the okay, so this angle is here and here. And we have this, we can make one, and then we can go down this way, two, three, four. So that's like going from here to here to here to here. And we're looking for IF. So IF is this, which matches up between three and two here. So that's going to be 200 inches. I mean, there's another bad way to do this, which is like look for the only number that's in any of these pictures, right? Which is 200, but that's not really, you're not learning anything that way. Um, okay, so if we do these, right, we've got 80, 50 left over, so we'll do 80. Ah, there's two 50s, but that's okay. If there are two 50s, it doesn't matter. It's isosceles and they'll match up, so don't stress, right? So eight, one, two, three, doesn't really matter. And so we're trying to do angle I, right? So angle I is this, which is the same as this. And we actually didn't need congruence here, right? Because the three, the three angles of a triangle add up to 180, right? So we know it's 50, but 80 plus 50 plus 50 is 180. So even without the right triangle, we could have this, without, even without this triangle, we could have known that this is 50. So we'll do 50. Okay, uh, let's do, let's match these up. Okay, so we're looking for anything we can Put together to make our lives simpler. I'll go ahead and do one, two, three, four. And that's like doing one, two, three, four. Okay, so what's angle D? So angle D is this. So it should be 108. The one, two, three, four I'm doing is just a way of lighting up the shapes. I think you guys figured that out. What is CD? Okay. 
So this 80 is missing from here, so this has to be 80. And so we can do 1, 2, 3. So we can do 1. We could go either way. We'll go 2, 3. Okay, so what is CD? This is this. And you can see that if we'd done the 2, 3 the other way, we'd still get that 62 inches, right? So 62 inches. Okay, how about HF? Okay, so this tells us, right, that we're going, I mean, this side matches up with this, right? So we could say this is one, two, three. This angle matches up with this. So we could say that this is one, two, three. So what is HF? So HF is the same as this one, three, which is 46 kilometers. The figures are congruent. What is KH? All right, so you can kind of tell these shapes are set up this way without thinking too hard, right? One, two, three, four. And you want to know what KH is, so that's this. That's just the long side of this, it's one, two. So it's 200. Okay, how about these? We have to be more careful with these. But we've got something to latch on to right here. These are actually lined up nicely for us, right? This is this, this is this. So this is like a, they were kind here, right? This is one, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four. Um, and so we're looking for DA, which is this. But that's the same as the 3, 4 here. So that's 158 miles. And here, right? How are we lining these up? Well, you're getting the idea. This is 78. This is 78. This is 103. This is 103, right? So we should do 1, 2, 3, Four, we should do one. How do you know? Well, yeah, I think you know. One, two, three, four, right? This two has to match the acute angle of 77, and this four has to be up twos here. So what is the angle of D, right? So that is 102. You don't always have to do all this writing. I'm just trying to give you a systematic way of doing it, if you, if you like. Okay, well... Hope you enjoyed matching shapes. What could be more fun than that? All right, I'll see you next time.